Hello! Some of you might recognise what's behind me and some of you might not. I'm at Nimi, which is just outside Mons, and behind me is a railway bridge crossing the canal, which you can see just over my shoulder there. On the 23rd of August 1914, almost exactly a century ago, this was the British front line during the Battle of Mons. Behind me, on the far bank, the northern bank, the Germans were pushing down, trying to push across and get themselves across the canal and this marked the main line of British defence. This particular sector, in and around Nimi, saw really, really heavy fighting. The area where I'm standing right now was held by the 4th Battalion, the Royal Fusiliers. And this exact spot where I'm actually making this video, give or take, was the scene where the very first two Victoria Crosses of the First World War were awarded, one of them posthumously, and both of them to members of this battalion, 4th Battalion, the Royal Fusiliers. Defending this sector, the battalion had placed its two machine guns on either side of the railway bridge. One here, and the other one just across the track here. And as the morning of the 23rd of August went on, and as the battle really heated up and kind of increased in intensity, British machine gunners manning these two guns on either side of the railway track found themselves being killed and injured in increasing numbers. And so a platoon commander from the 4th Royal Fusiliers, Lieutenant Morris Deese, who was actually Irish from um, County Westmeath, repeatedly, despite being wounded I think up to about three times, went across to try and get the machine guns firing again. He eventually died of his injuries and was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross. Later on, another member of the battalion, Private Sid Godley, continued to man a machine gun and continued to fire it across the canal at the Germans until he himself was wounded and was forced to retire. And before he actually withdrew, as a sort of a last act of defiance, he picked the machine gun up and flung it into the canal to deny the Germans the use of it. 